Did you feel sorry for people who purposefully make a mess of their lives? sorry for someone who is creating their own mess in life. Hello y'all, I'm Diana Brienne. You know, I have a big heart. I have a very compassionate heart and yet I am smart in how I use the softness and kindness of my heart. And you know, sometimes people choose to go around and make a mess of their life. I'm not talking about people who have made mistakes that were kind of honest mistakes. They didn't mean to make a mistake, but they did make a mistake. I'm not talking about people who just kind of messed up one time or so. I'm talking about people who live their life um, like a train wreck. They just go from one situation to another and they create havoc and then they want other people to come clean it up. You know, often the people that they have go clean up their mess are the people with the kind hearts, are the people with the soft hearts, the people that see their potential that they don't see in them their own selves. And so often these people will come by and try to help them clean up their mess. They end up doing the cleaning up the mess themselves because the other person is usually too lazy to clean up their own mess. They're too busy creating a new mess somewhere else. And so I'm not in the lifestyle of cleaning up other people's messes when they go around and purposefully create their own mess. Do I feel sorry for them? No, no, not not when they purposefully and knowingly go around and they know that whatever they're going to do is going to make a mess, but they do it anyhow. Like say, for example, someone goes out and spends more money than they have, and now they don't have the money to pay their rent or their house payment or their car payment or whatever. So now they come to you and say, well, you know, I spent too much money. I knew I shouldn't have done it, but I did. Well, you know what? I'm I'm not a bank and I'm not going to help and my you know, my choice would be not to help them. I don't give suggestions, I don't give advice. Um, I just tell you how I live my life. And for me, I would I would just simply say you're gonna have to find your own solution to this situation. Whereas if someone truly um, had something that came up that you know they they lost their job and it was no fault of their own and they had done everything right and the job downsized, you know, that may or may not be a different situation, but I'm likely to at least feel sorry for them, you know, but somebody who purposefully says, hey, you know what, I'm just going to throw this away and be disrespectful over here, but now I want that job back, but I quit on a bad note, now I don't have a job. No, I'm not going to feel sorry for them because they're choosing to make um, um, train wreck decisions. They're choosing to make those kind of decisions on purpose and they know what the outcome is going to be. So I don't feel sorry for those kinds of people. And I feel like they have to, they have to take responsibility for their own lives. And in my opinion, they need to clean up their own mess so that they won't create another mess in the future. From my house to yours, may God bless you. And I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.